Figma for beginners. You can make a sprite sheet player in Figma. What how? With animated components. First, we need a sprite sheet. Wrap it in a frame. Hold Command or Control as you drag from the edge. And make sure you clip the contents. Press Shift R and drag over here to frame the shoes. Now drag it to the left and make sure that the shoes stay in the same place. Perfect! We have the sequence for the idle state all in individual frames. But now it's time for some magic. Grab all of them. Create component set. Press Shift D. -E. You just switch the prototype, which is good because we're going to prototype all of this and set after delay interactions of 1000 divided by 24. But why? Because we want 24 frames per second. Now, and instead of clicking here to open the interaction, click just to the left of it. Now you can press Command or Control C. You just copied the interaction, which is good because it saves you a lot of time. You just have to drag the interactions to the next frame. Just make sure this last one loops back to the beginning. Okay, now drag this out because we want to make sure that this is going to preview properly. So give it a fill and press Shift Space. Look at that. Sonic is telling you to get going, but it's a little fast. So click up here and press Enter to select all of the frames. We can mass change the delay from 24 milliseconds to let's try 50 that feels really good now we're going to repeat that step for all the other sprites put each of these in a line and wrap them in another frame set it to 375 by 812 because that's roughly the size of a phone but we need to make some buttons so that sonic can move to the right left up and down we can do this with smart symbols type hyphen less than you just made a right arrow type greater than hyphen you made a left arrow type carrot carrot space you just made an up arrow and Type VV, space. You made a down arrow. Okay, our joystick is ready. Now it's time to set up our prototype. You could do this in a more simple way with variables, but we're going to keep it old school. Grab the right arrow, press Shift D, drag an interaction over here. We're gonna replace the idle animation with the running animation. So copy that and press Command or Control Shift R to paste and replace. Sonic can also run left. So let's duplicate that and grab the running animation and press Shift H. Now he's running to the left. Sonic can also run faster. So. Duplicate that and copy the fast run motion. He can't really run faster than that, so fade it out. Now let's make Sonic jump. And let's make Sonic roll. Just be sure to send the rest down here. Grab the down arrow, press Command Option A. You just selected all of them, which is great because you can grab an interaction and bring it to the down. Do the same with the up. Okay, moment of truth. He's running. He's running faster. He's rolling. He's jumping. He's going left. He's going right. How fun.